Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today, we're going to be blasting this classic, atmospheric, doom-riddled slab of death metal from Mystic Charm, Shadows of the Unknown, killer, killer reissue on cassette through Head Split Records. Nuclear War Now did the uh, vinyl reissue, and I think they did a CD reissue also. And this is just a fucking masterpiece. I mean, I don't know what else to say about Mystic Charm. They fucking have this, like, kind of Peaceville, like, doomy vibe, but when the death metal parts kick in, that shit kicks in overdrive, and it's just super fucking cool. The riffing, I would put it along the lines of, like, Trouble and Cathedral, but playing death metal. It's fucking cool. Like, there's a lot of heavy metal influences as well, but at the end of the day, this is death fucking metal with one of the coolest sounding female vocalist in death metal. It's really fucking good. Has this like real like occult vibe to it. Like if you've ever heard The Oath, it was a, from what I remember, it was a like a two piece female, like proto metal band that was just, they were fucking awesome. And I know they split off into, like, Lucifer, and I don't remember the other project's name, but it was really fucking good. They have this album, it's, it's the self-titled, called The Oath, and it's just two, like, leather-clad women standing back-to-back, -back, and they killed it. But here's why I love this rec record. Stuff like that. I'm a sucker for synthesizers. Swampy occult death with doom. Like, fuck yeah. You really can't go wrong with Mystic Charm here. If you're a fan of extreme music, this has you covered. If you're a fan of just like heavy metal and you're just getting your feet wet with like death metal and doom, this is a great gateway into the unknown. And following that into shadows of the unknown, yeah. Mystic Charm's gonna lead you to a lot of bangers. Through Head Split or Nuclear War Now, or just following this band's, like, history and stuff. Super fucking sick. Like, seriously. I forget what country... This whole album is so fucking good. Like, from the cover art, it's just classic as shit. I really would love to get this on wax. Like, this is, a. Uh, there's just so many fucking good songs on here. I don't even know what my favorite one would be. Like, Mystic Charms is just such a fucking cool song, but, like, so is Lost Empire, Beyond Darkness, Crushed Virginity... Deadly Embrace, Window of Reality, it's fuck. like imagine if Black Sabbath played death metal but also had female vocals. There. That's 
the vibe Mystic Charm gives off. It's fucking sick. And you have Rennie Lipman on vocals and keyboards, Herwig Schulling on guitars, Gerlach Timmer on bass, and Gerald Van Hassan on drums. Yeah, there's no date here, but Dan Fry must make so much money off layout work. He did the layout here, which is fantastic. You could see the tree behind the lyrics. I, I love Rennie's vocals on here, or Rini, however you pronounce it. R-I-N-I, -I, so I'm guessing it might be Rini. All lyrics by Rini except Mystic Charms by Herwig Schulling. Okay, so this is from the Netherlands. Recorded by Harrow Productions. Losser, the Netherlands. Fuck yeah. That's awesome. So now we know. I couldn't remember, so I apologize. But you gotta love, like, swampy death metal. Because, like, this reminds me a lot, like, a lot, a lot of In Death We Meet by Durketta. Very different styles, but the first all-female doom death metal band established 1988. Also, check out Mythic, but... I feel like Durketta has a lot more in common with Mystic Charm, but that's just my personal opinion on it. It's killer. It's all killer shit, trust me. But like, like I was saying, Mystic Charm has like a lot of parts that just remind me of like, like right here, that's like a heavy metal riff. That But also, you know, it's very doomy and gloomy. And that's the vibe you get here, is you get your doom and gloom, like swampy, like just look at the cover. Just like a swampy fucking, it's awesome. I love the cover art here, and I love the fucking riffing, the production is great. Everything about this reissue is on the fucking money. Heavy hails the mystic charm. Shadows of the Unknown. Head Split Records did the cassette, which to me sounds fantastic. I just would love this on 12 inches of wax, especially with the artwork. I don't know if they made any Mystic Charm shirts to go along with the reissues, because they reissued a couple of their releases, I think. But, uh,. I would love to have that on like a white long sleeve t-shirt, that'd be badass, but yeah, if you like your death metal, gloomy, doomy, and with a little heavy metal vibe in it, can't really go wrong here with Mystic Charm and Shadows of the Unknown. Again, I forget what year this was recorded, but it was recorded in the Netherlands. I'm sure there were psychedelics involved based on how fucking cool this shit is. So good. Spoil you folks. I think Head Split still has copies. I'm pretty sure Nuclear War Now has the vinyl available at the moment. Very, very nice reissue. Like every song on the B side is around the five minute mark. Like the shortest song on here, Crushed Virginity, four minutes and 47 seconds. But the actual shortest song is on the A side, and that's the intro title track, Shadows of the Unknown. 
Mystic Charm, 6 minutes, 35 seconds. Window of Reality, 5 minutes and 5 seconds. And the shortest track on here is Deadly Embrace, 4 minutes and 10 seconds. With the longest track being... Endless Sickness at 7 minutes and 33 seconds of Death Ridden Doom and Gloom. Nuclear War Now and Head Split Records. I forget who I did a trade with for this, but like, I need to do a trade for the new Galvanizer full length on cassette. Uh, DM me in some way, shape, or form. We'll figure a trade out. Uh, I'm willing to, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll make it worth your, I'll make it worth your while. So DM me and yeah, I'll, uh, see what I'm willing to part with. Cause I really don't want to miss that. Same with the new uh, Ascended Dead split. Like, I'm willing to trade a 12-inch for that cassette. So, like, hit me up and uh, we'll figure something out. But, in the meantime, go blast some Mystic Charm, Shadows of the Unknown. Just a great slab of, like, occult death doom with gloom and uh, a heavy metal vibe buried beneath the riffery. This is just a great fucking album. Mystic Charm on Head Split Records and Nuclear War Now. Reissued and revived from the past. It sounds fucking great. And yeah, Definitely one of those albums I've been listening to for a while, but I've been putting off reviewing because I didn't really know what to say about it besides fuck yeah. Like, I loved every, and I still do, I love everything about this album. So, like, I, I really didn't know what to say, but here we are at 12 minutes in. Mission accomplished, motherfucker. So, yeah. If you're looking for something outside of the brutality box, like, if you've just been listening to, you know, like, just, like, gnarly fucking death for the past, like, few days, and you need, like, a little break, throw on some Mystic Charm. It's like, you know, sometimes, let's say you have a day like this. I'm just gonna grab this stack right here because it's so fucking brutal. Like, let's say you start your day with Ultimo Mundo Cannibal. Then you go to Horror of the Zombies, into House by the Cemetery, into Hacked Up for Barbecue, and ending with Zombie Apocalypse. You might be burned out on samples and whatnot. So you decide, you know what? I'm in the mood for something a little bit different. And... Instead of, you know, putting something on that's extremely similar to Mortician, you wind up with Repulsion in your tape deck. And you're like, what the fuck? I just want to, you know, sit back with some death metal that's like kind of chill. But at the same time, I can still fucking, you know, get into it. To me, that's where Mystic Charm shines through. This is one of those releases that it doesn't really matter what mood you're in. Not only are you going to find something to like about this album, but, like, it's chill. There's nothing on here that's, like, ridiculous high speed or over the top. There's no gutturals. Like, it's just straight up Death Doom that's... Just, like I said, riddled with gloom, but also has that, like, heavy metal vibe that, like, the devil's blood had. Like, it feels very occult, if you get what I'm saying. If you've ever, if you've ever heard the devil's blood, it just kind of has that, like, not totally, like, 70s psychedelia, like, feel, but it, it's there, especially because, like, the Devil's Blood are from the Netherlands. I don't, again, I don't know if there's any connection at all. 
because uh, see I don't recognize like these names but I can bet dollars to donuts the devil's blood was influenced in some way shape or form by mystic charm and if I'm wrong and you know those folks then I'm wrong but yeah if you're looking for some fucking killer gloomy doomy death metal that definitely also worships the altar of Black Sabbath. Check out Mystic Charm, Shadows of the Unknown. Like, if you follow Phantom Slaughter on Instagram through the gl the Worm Gloom Instagram, like, this is a record I could picture Phantom Slaughter, like, throwing on his Walkman before going through a walk in the swamps. It's just one of those types of albums, like swamp walking tunes. So go find the Bog Witch somewhere and blast yourself some Mystic Charm, Shadows of the Unknown, cassette on head split, LP and CD on Nuclear War Now Records. Congratulations on moving to Austin, Texas. Go eat at Chewy's during happy hour and get a fish taco at Wahoo's. Thank me later. But as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Hails. Oh, and Mystic Charm gets an 8.5 out of 10. Because I know this isn't for all of you, but me personally, like, I would give this, like, a 9. But for you folks, I know this isn't going to be for everybody, but... Fuck yeah, it's awesome. Like, if you don't like this, I don't know what to tell you. It's one of those types of releases where you gotta be a little open-minded. I mean, if all you listen to is, like, just straight-up fucking, like, filthy death metal or just, like, straight-up fucking brutality, eventually you're gonna get not... Like, you might not get burned out. But there might come a time where you're like, oh, you know what? Like, I kind of want to listen to something chill. And, or like, I want to listen to something different. Like, the body or something, you know? Like, you never know. That's why it's good to have, like, once you start collecting tunes and stuff, like, for example, sometimes I forget I have certain releases. Like, pre-immortal death metal from amputation like fuck yeah and again i love these nuclear war now cosmetics it makes it look like a fucking um mixtape but it's not it's badass but mystic charm shatters of the unknown check it out and as always thanks for watching check out all the other videos on this channel and thanks for the support Hails.